Welcome. So today's video is a day in the life on the Shetland Islands. Since I moved to the island, I've been knitting and, well, <laughs> it's not gone particularly well. Example A. So I'm kind of wondering if I should just take it apart, because it, it is <laughs> pretty hard in places. Um, I mean, is it even possible to take it apart at this stage? I mean, it's good in some places. got to go and collect my bike which has been in the bike project for a few weeks now and basically I got it shipped up here from England and I am quite looking forward to having it although I don't know when I'm going to actually cycle because it's very windy here um, but get the bike
So this is a little bit different to what I'm normally used to. Um, normally I'm kind of out and about, I have the camera up ahead and I'm just talking as I go. Actually, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually trying out different recording techniques, different editing later, hopefully, um, and just embracing it because the weather is really harsh here. The winds are constant and it's hard to get good footage when you're outside. So I can record things, but sometimes the sound is a little bit tricky. Um, I heard that well, somebody today told me that it's the worst wind for many years. It's, it's been the worst January, February. Um, it's early February yet, but it's been the worst it's been in a long time. Yeah, not sure why that might be. Um, maybe you have some suggestions. But um, I hope you like my day in the life on Shetland, on the Shetland Islands. So. Um, I came here for a short term position and um, I'm really here just to work in the field that I work in, which is in healthcare. Um, but also the reason I came here is because Shetland uh, is beautiful and the Shetland Islands are beautiful. 
there are many of them islands <laughs> one of them i will be going to next week so i'm going to hopefully get some footage of the northern lights if possible on my camera um but yeah it's 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 just being somewhere that's quite different you know people identify here as being from scotland which it's part of scotland but also there's a feel for some people i've spoken to that it's more scandinavian and you can certainly see that in some of the buildings and um just the weather is is so harsh here it's it's so not that it's not harsh in scotland like the mainland of scotland but it is actually so brutal at times um you know from today you will have seen there was snow there was hail there was blasting wind um you know i was <laughs> i had to put the camera down at one point because it was just pushing me the wind was pushing me over nearly um so you have to be ready for it and prepared and, and kind of a have a mindset that this is just the way it is um and actually it's kind of nice it's kind of nice not to be limited or feeling that you, you're limited by the weather that you're not going to do certain things because of the weather of course the hiking is something i really want to do i want to do more hiking but it's just not going to be so possible when the wind is so strong and that's me saying that from the perspective of being out in awful weather hiking but it's just something about the combination of very very strong wind rain and cold that is quite harsh let me know what you think or if you have any different experiences with that So I popped into Jameson's, the famous wool, Shetland wool supplier here and and beyond actually. Um, my mother gets wool from Jameson's and um, I have to say they're quite good in there, quite friendly and helpful. Um, and I got a little bit of a smaller <laughs> circular needle so I'm going to try again, try again for the fifth time. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I have my wool. I have my needles. Let's see. So there we have it, the first line of stitching. This is going to work out a lot better than the, the longer one. 